10 people shot to death at an upstate New York supermarket, and investigators believe it was racially motivated. Police say the killer came up there from 200 miles away, targeting Buffalo. In addition to those 10 killed, he injured three others, two of them critically. 11 of the victims were black and two were white. Officers took the 18-year-old suspect into custody right there at the scene. They say he was wearing body armor and carrying a high-powered rifle. One of the victims was the security guard who fired several shots at that suspect who was wearing the tactical gear and was uninjured. When officers got to the scene, the suspect put a gun to his own neck. Police say the alleged shooter is in custody. He's 18 years old, but his name has not been released yet. Officials say the supermarket is in a predominantly black neighborhood and they are calling this shooting a hate crime. I seen a guy in a full army suit just shooting shots at people, and I seen a security guard running the store, and then um, I seen the guy go in army style, bent over, just shooting at people, and I heard him shooting at people, and then I saw three people laying down, and I didn't have a phone on me, so I was just screaming for somebody to call the police, and, and then he came out. He exited his vehicle. He was very heavily armed. He had tactical gear. He had a tactical helmet on. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. Buffalo police personnel, two patrol officers, uh, talked the suspect into dropping the gun. He dropped the gun, took off some of his tactical gear, surrendered at that point. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. And we are hurting and we are seething right now as a community. In fact, the shooter traveled hours from outside this community to perpetrate this crime on the people of Buffalo. Buffalo, New York Governor Kathy Hochul, who hails from Buffalo, expressing concern. It's hard to know what to say. Uh, this is my community. I know this community well. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. The FBI is assisting local authorities in this investigation. We're aggressively investigating this at the federal level as a hate crime and as a, an instance of racially motive, motivated violent extremism. Gendry.